Okay, so this is the test. And it's simple. You just prick her inside her gum. Uh, use the cotton swab. This is the uh, solution you put your cotton swab in. And this is your pricker. You come with two, but it's only one test per box. And these tests run around, uh, this is your kind of swab. Uh, these tests run around about, um, I say with taxes and everything, about 80 bucks. So this is your test thingy that you're gonna squeeze your blood from this tube and put it on the tester. And you do wanna make sure that it's flat. But I'm going to read the instructions to make sure I'm doing this right because $80 is a lot of money to not be doing it right. So, let's read it in English, please. This is on a flat surface. Flat surface. No. Okay. And then a uh, flat surface and have a timer available to ease the testing process. Press the buffer tube in, in uh, its assigned location on the package and open the top lid. This is the, this is the buffer tube. And open our, uh, oh shit, hold on. Oh. We're gonna go ahead and open our test thingy. Uh, it said unlatch that, so we're going to unlatch that, and then we're going to press this side in the inside of her cheek, and we're going to press this button down in order to sit. Sit, mama. I'm not going to hurt you. Let me get my test swab together also, so I won't be fumbling with that. So this is the swab. Ooh, baby, I'm handicapped with nails on. Hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. It's nothing to eat. So, we're going to get that together. And then it says to open the top of this and wish it around about five times inside the fluid. And then let it sit for a minute. And sit. I'm gonna pull her lip up like this. Can you see that? Can you guys? I'm gonna pull her lip up like this and get in. I think we got a great amount of blood. We just swabbed our mouth. I thought we was recording, well, we wasn't. So we're gonna open the buffer tube and it said to swab around three to five times. One two three four five and break at the breaking point on the tube and we gotta leave this in here for one minute and we'll be back set a timer for one minute okay so we're back and it has been a full minute so we're gonna should've got this out already. But we're gonna open up our test strip and I'm gonna go ahead and remove some Cause I don't want her to bump it. We're gonna put our two drops, oh. Settle a little bit, leave it on a flat surface, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the second drop. We're gonna put the second drop. And that's the second drop. Now we're gonna set this timer for 15 minutes and then we'll be back. Oh, let me show you guys. Don't worry about that blood. That's what it should look like. And we're going to wait 15 minutes and we're going to be back. 
Okay, so for this portion of the video, it's going to be a voiceover. I had to take Summer to the vet because the test came back negative. So now we're here trying to get an ultrasound to confirm the negative or confirm the puppies. Huh. We're in the no. waiting room and actually the vet actually came in and took her to do the ultrasound without me and it was negative. We did the test on a Wednesday and it came back negative. So we decided to make her an appointment to see her veterinarian. And uh, we did the ultrasound and the ultrasound came back negative as well. So there won't be any puppies this year. Summer goes back into heat in February. So we'll be working with the vet to uh, update uh, we'll be working with the vet to make sure that she get pregnant this time instead of doing it the old-fashioned way. Uh, we're not rushing this process. We're taking our time. So things like this happen all the time. We already have one person that's currently on the wait list. If uh, anybody else wants to join the wait list, uh, please contact me and let me know because uh, if you know anything about the breed, toy poodles, they don't have a lot of puppies. So it's kind of like, uh, probably like m maybe one, a lot of poodles have like singletons and then uh, they can have up to like six puppies, but we don't know. It depends on the uh, mom, the dad, the sperm count, a lot of other factors. So we're gonna be working closely with the vet to make sure that Summer has this uh, next letter in February. So if you wanna know any more details, contact me you can still follow our journey we'll still be posting regularly and um updating about this new litter in february and we'll still be posting uh summer and, um you can watch us on our journey <laughs> my husband just put it up so you can watch us on our journey and uh continue to follow us uh on social media if you just want to see summer summer has her own platforms on instagram tiktok and uh this Instagram and TikTok, so just uh, to keep you guys posted, I'm just posting this update, and uh, we still working towards uh, getting those puppies out, so thank y'all for watching and supporting and following this journey so far, and I'm still excited to see what it's going to take us.